Okay, so we are going into the light body readings and the angelic messages for the week ahead. Um, I've been kind of off the map the last month. Um, haven't really done any YouTube, any social media, really a little bit. Um, and have been realigning since November. So been pretty inconsistent with this and moving forward uh, I'm not exactly sure how often I will do these if they'll be weekly uh, bi-weekly but I will continue to try to get these this info out there uh, for those of you guys that it helps so um, I just finished my book um, the aura of God and we go into the uh, energy fields of the human, the energy fields that emanate from source, which is basically the densities and how we move through the densities to find a pure harmonic with source energy and a lot of the dynamics of that path. And so for a lot of people, this path will be very, um, very intense very long it could take lifetimes um, and we're looking at these shifts over a period of years if not decades if you are to do this in this life um, everything in the book is a composite of my studies and research over the past 20 years and from creativity from studies in music and sound from painting from dance from landscape architecture working with um, both intuitive and analytical mind, uh, working holistically, head heart connection, a lot of studies in quantum physics, quantum healing, Reiki. Um, so I've been studying this stuff a really long time and applying it. So basically the last 15 years I've been working with students and uh, clients on the healing path and have documented this path was not only myself but a lot of other individuals so if you're interested in the stuff I talk about in these videos I highly recommend getting that book I um, mean it's published on the website Enzo Academy and the Enzo Academy is basically a guide to help you through this process it's very supportive in helping you to harmonize your field as well as clearing and healing uh, frozen or blocked energy in your field, keeping the chakra systems open so that when these higher frequency energies come in, you're prepared to receive them. Your physical body, your mind and heart and soul are all open, receptive and clear to integrate and activate the information that's coming in and the higher frequencies. Okay. So that's what the book is about. It's, I'm really excited that it's done and um, I am publishing it as I'm recording this video. So if you go to my website and it's not there, it will be up within the next day or two. Um, if you're watching this after um, I recorded this, then it should be live. Anyways, uh, so light body reading for the week ahead we have a pretty interesting I feel like there might be actually a lot of people in this position now and we have a frequency range of 600 to 900 kilohertz and this is about the time you're going to want to shift into the new higher frequency core okay so the 5d core you kind of have to jump over the reversal field to reground okay and I have an activation in the Enzo Academy um, I've called it in the past of galactic healing transmission, galactic healing attunement, but what it is is a star, ascension stargate activation. So I have retitled it. You may see it in both uh, titles and that is because it's more relevant with the ascension stargate. And that's what it does is it activates these stargates to help people attune to the 5D and higher frequencies and resonate and harmonize outside of the reversal fields, okay? So what I'm seeing here is uh, someone who is ready to shift um, and they're, they're grounding in both the 3D and the 5D. The reason why they're not able to fully ground in 5D is because they don't have the Mercana activated, which is the, is the 5D light body, and they don't have the Diamond Star light body activated. And that is uh, probably because they don't know that they need those. Um, these are two things that you can activate in the Enzo Academy as well. Um, 
but what they do is they stabilize the frequencies at around 600 to nine, anywhere from 300 to 1,000 kilohertz. They will stabilize those frequencies and feed the cellular structure and the plasmic energy within your field so that when you shift, it's a stable shift and there's no um, distortions, fracturing, or imbalances in the system. Okay, so what we're seeing is the cosmic gateway is closed, so there's no connection, direct connection to source. Um, the crown has a very tight and slow wobble, meaning it's almost closed, but it is, we're seeing some movement. Third eye is very open. Um, the throat is distorted. Earth star is closed. Earth gateway is distorted. Um, on top of that, masculine energies are completely closed. Cosmic heart is closed and only the feminine energies are open. So the imbalances here are in um, an overactive third eye uh, that is just connected to astral and low, low, lower frequencies, okay? Um, it is not connected to the celest celestial spheres or cosmic energies. Um, and we're also not working with our own God presence, okay? Because the crown shut down. Uh, there may be not a lot of action-oriented um, energies or actions, uh, focus, you may be really receptive. There could be some fear here with the masculine energies. Uh, there is no connection to the earth and that is because the Mercana has not been activated. The Mercana activates and anchors one into the Emerald Heart at the Earth Star level and it connects you to nature as well as the 5D Earth Plane. Um, so the remedies here are to open up the higher gateways, to open up the throat chakra, activate Mercana, and open the Earth Star Gateway. Okay. Um, there is some, you, you guys are basically at this tipping point. Um, moving back and forth between 3D and 5D, really ready to move into 5D. But the, the third eye is out of uh, balance because there's so much information coming in. So what could be happening as well is subconsciously uh, these people are shutting down the higher gateways because there's too much in information coming in. Okay, now if you don't have any blocks or resistance and you're really grounded, you can open up to this flow of information and not uh, have to stop it from coming in because that will create uh, issues around healing as well as mental and emotional fracturing, okay? So what we have recommended is galactic healing attunement, which as I said, is the same as the Ascension Stargate activation. Um, then also I noticed the every single level and layer of the field is congested here. And so what that does is it just creates resistance from higher frequencies integrating with the energetic system. Okay, so the seven layer bioenergetic field purification. And I am all that is, and this will help with the source based connection, the um, Enzo technique. Okay, so that's a physical uh, practice that you can do to help open up the higher gateways. Okay, if you don't want to do the uh, healing sessions, you feel like a more meditative or moving meditative practice, that one is great. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, please let me know and uh, we'll see you next time.